Imagine a future where we have solved many of the problems plaguing humanity today. Food and energy are issues of the past, and human beings have established orbital and lunar colonies. We here at IDGI have invented a satellite capable of transporting you to this not so distant future. And the rest is up to you. Hail Reckoners, that was quite the intro. Today we are playing Consortium. That's how I believe the word's pronounced. I can't guarantee it. It could be Consortium. 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 No, I, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's short. Consortium. Um, this is the first episode of uh, a series, so when I say today, I mean tomorrow, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I know nothing about this game other than that the screenshots I saw looked cool, and it's sci-fi-y, so whatever. Let's, let's access the quantum stream that seems like a good place to start after I uh, so long closed captioning yes okay yes I assume things are good let's see um, what's my consortium experience level is this gonna be hard what kind of game is this let's go first time cause that's true I'm about to activate a temporal rift through space and time which will allow unprecedented access to an alternate version of Earth. In the year 2042, you will be given speech and motor control over another human being within this other world, and will be responsible for altering and improving upon their world's regular course of events throughout informed action. This decision is not to be taken lightly. Everyone you are about to meet is real, and everything you do will affect countless lives with limitless consequences. By pressing agree below, you are accepting these responsibilities henceforth placed upon you. Uh, eh, eh, more information? That's more information. That's, that's the information. I'm gonna agree, I guess. I'm assuming don't agree would take me back to the menu. Kinda wish I'd press that now, actually. But let's see. Quantum stream alignment in progress. Who am I gonna get? I hope it's, um, Richard Simmons. These all stars. We got the GPS star, the Geo star, the Heo star, the Leo star, the Mio star. Are there satellites? I mean, Leo seems like a star. GPS does not seem like a star. Dister, 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 dister. All the other stars are called dister. And this means satellite. This is the moon. This is the belly button. 100% Q-Stream re-established. I'm the best. I'm so good at video games, you guys. I 100%ed that. Not even, not even breaking a sweat yet. Already doing unprecedented feats of skill. Bishop 6? Does that mean Superman? Bishop 6 is Superman, right? It's his code name, right? So you got forward, back, left, right. The Can Canada Media Fund. And... I-D-G-I. But the I's are lowercase. So they're not talking about I-me. Oh, I, mean, I, I can do things already. Okay. Uh, let's go towards the shape. Wee-wee-wee-wee. Is this me... Um... Moving through the pipes towards someone's consciousness? We're heading towards the satellite right now, or maybe it's a building. It's a little esoteric. But that seems to be my bread and butter. This red flashing light reminds me of the, reminds me of the Andromeda strain. Ah, writing not in an English language. I assume it's writing. Ah, the Olympics! We're going to half of the Olympics. Okay, I don't like you. Oh, you're gonna be the host, I see. I was like, zombies! Crawling zombies in the ether! Crawling at me! Jeez, don't do that. I'm just trying to take over your mind, brah. One hell of a storm front. So does that sound weird because stuff's going wrong? Okay, no, it sounds weird because I'm still getting control of my ears. Malcolm Thomas. Uh, who is it? 
Look, 25. Will you open the door? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Well, I'm coming in anyway. Gosh. Dang it. Nope, I'm completely nude. Lights. And that's the latest from here in London. Much better. I'm Malcolm Thomas. Not so sorry to wake you. You're looking at me. You are looking at me. You know about our little escort. Yes, escort. Should we be worried? <laughs> worried? No, Bishop. There's nothing to worry about. Not unless you're afraid of a couple crummy American escort guards piloted by a group of washed up mercenaries. A few more bad apples who wish the war never ended. It's just another day in the consortium. I like these long timeouts. Uh, why are they they here then? To escort us through Bulgaria. It's a long story, but let's just say the leader of this particular crew has a very strong disliking for our way of doing. I things. cannot place her accent. He likes to think he's doing the people of Bulgaria the Irish by pestering us, but really. They're as fed up with him as the K and I are. Tell me more about this leader. What? You just say, tell me more, and I'm supposed to jump. Do it. Yeah. If you want to know more about him, search for Kirill Angelov in any of the <sighs> information consoles. That's K-I-R-I-L. I'll go and talk to the K. Okay. Um, tell me... Oh, I could pull rank on her. Made up rank. I actually don't I actually don't know if I outrank her. She's a rook, I'm a bishop. I think bishops outrank rooks. Um I'm gonna go with F3. Oh, right. That's just what I call knight fifteen. Ah. We've been dealing with these guys for years now, and I like to think Kirill, their leader, has a crush on her. That's weird. Yeah. Do you <laughs> Oh my god, that felt good. Oh, thank you, Bishop. When you meet Kirill, you'll no doubt have a good laugh over what you just asked me. Because she's a robot. Uh, you met her when you came on board? Hey, I'm groggy. You woke me up. She's technically our operations manager. I can't give away that I don't know as much as they think I know. Okay, say nothing. So let's get you suited up and ready to kick some homeless arse. Hey. Here are your basic consortium tools. You got your PCU, BUS and assault helmet, all specifically tailored to fit you nice and snug. What's the PC version of homeless? Differently domiciled? I don't remember what it is. Um. Okay. Yeah, did you just say kick some homeless arse? <laughs> Yes, I did. I kind of don't like you. The group we're up against here are unofficially called the Homeless Mercenaries. Okay, well, if they're not actually homeless, then... Um... They don't sound too tough. That's because they're not tough. Not even remotely. Oh, you'll see. The K will stomp this one flat, and you'll witness firsthand how it's done. The K. She'll do it single-handedly. Okay, let's, uh, let's get to work. Yay, mother goddess. Aren't you the little eager one? This is a weird mix of hippie and stuff. Yeah, I, uh, I don't want to say things to give it away. I'm mean, sure the game would let me without punishing me, but I'm trying to roleplay here as somebody who's actually possessing a person in history. I wonder what their memories of this time is going to be like. Um, yeah, let's just go. You know what? You're acting a little lopsided. Maybe oh no. You should go and see Rook 13 in the med bay. You take that oh, back, you lopsided freak. Thing. How dare you? I'm differently sighted. Oh, of course, but I think it's better to be safe, right? We don't want a banged up bishop on our hands. And because I was actually a bishop of the church of the goddess. Okay. Please suit up now. All right, bishop. Suit yourself. I want to do the secondary objective first. Suit yourself. Good afternoon, sleepyhead. Suit yourself. Hello. Bishop, what can I do for you? Um. Just saying hi. And hello again to you. Oh, and Merry Christmas. Thank you. Crazy. Yeah, I don't mean Happy Holidays. Okay then. I I'm sorry. Yeah. I guess I'm not being very politically correct. No, you're not. This Merry whole freaking vehicle goes. is full of bad, rude people. Um. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, let's just talk to you. Checking on something for Rook Nine. Oh, she's a he pawn. Because we can't seem to track Angelov's location of transmit. Who's Angelov? Zenlil can pinpoint where Who's Zenlil? From, but not today. Gosh dang it, his name. <laughs> <laughs> Only the three. Rook Nine's the ship's captain. Rook Twenty Five, your combat specialist. And Rook Thirteen, the onboard doctor. I'm not gonna remember any of this. Fifteen, of course, and the rest of us are pawns. Right now, there's about ten of us on board, give or take. Give or take. Um. Yeah. What do you? What do you? What do you do, Miss Pawn? Miss Swan. Of every variety scientist you could imagine, and they monitor and investigate issues related to their particular field. And then there's some like myself who are Wade slaves. Wade Wilson. Or engineers, if you like. We keep Zenlil going, and all systems flow. Oh, is Zenlil this vehicle we're in? Anyway, if you don't mind, I have to go check in with Rook Nine now. Hey. And try to avoid pawn one if you want to keep from screaming at someone on your first day. That sounds serious. Okay, I'll let you by. I wonder if I can get in the suit first. Okay, I'm in the suit first. That way I don't, I don't, that way I don't have to come back for it. Um, whoa. Recycle. Okay. I'm Robocop. I'm looking for medical. Um, that looks like the cockpit. That looks like dining. That looks like butt touching. I think I want butt touching. Background shutter, background shutter. Zenlil! It's not as good as the Normandy, but it'll do. It's a good enough show. Oh, wow, even. Very similar layout to the Normandy, actually. That part does, anyway. So maybe medical's back here. This looks kitchen y. That's not gonna. Oh, it's an exterior door. Yeah, I don't wanna open that, I suppose. The lobby or the barracks. The lobby could be use virtual trainer. I don't know what to do. Let's go to deck one. Medical. Medic! I'm feeling lopsided. Do you have any pills or a salve for lopsided feeling bishops? Bishop Six, welcome to the medical bay. Hello. Place is disastrous. It's mine. Oh, come on, Kieran. Greet our new bishop. Bishop, it's nice to see you again. Okay, so definitely UK and accents. Who do I talk to? Um, Rook Thirteen, as my doctor, how do you help in the field? Shouldn't I ask for help or? Um, let's go with what was that you were watching as I came in? Nothing. What can I do for? It was porn. It was a 2D. Oh, 2D, how scandalous! Oh dear. Uh, what's that about 2D? A movie bishop. It's all he ever does. Shameful. He watches movies and makes me do all the work. This is untrue, bishop. We have equal tasks to adhere to. Don't what lie to a bishop. Protocol. Consortium. Okay. You're saying it's an yes. actual TV? It is a 32 inch Toshiba from 1995. 1995? I think he is actually proud of that your use of best is different than mine. Yeah, why do you enjoy those media formats? <laughs> um, oh, I could tell the truth. That forced him to check me out. Yes, I do. Anything that came before 3D, I will watch. But you did not mean that. You said movies from your time. I hate you, Doctor. You did say that. I misread. Ah, I gave it away. Hmm. I wonder. Slip of the tongue, or slip of the truth? Are they aware of the technology? Your was telling me you were acting strange earlier. Said you seemed a little mixed up. Okay. If you just step over here and lay down, I'll run a full body scan. Are they going to be able to uh, tell that I have a different person's mind inside of me? I'm very afraid. I'm going to say nothing. How is that even possible? Two brainwaves? Sure. Yeah. You have more simultaneous synapses firing me. Yeah, okay, that doesn't surprise me. It's as if there are two of you housed within the same brain. Two of him? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Is this some kind of anomaly? Yes. Unless the bishop has an explanation for us. I'm not a doctor, I'm a bishop. Uh, let's 
play dumb. I think I'm gonna try and keep this secret as much as possible. Maybe after your induction ceremony. Now, we've got a lot more cleaning to do around here. <laughs> you mean you do? I will return to my command VR if there is nothing else you need. My brain. Static. Is that a game then? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. It was really nice meeting you. You too, Doctor Hoffman. Thanks for just walking through me like a. Not even a real person. What do I do with this? Interaction not currently supported. Just turn off. Disruptive fields. Trying to send me back in time. I'm not gonna go through the pawns lockers. It's a weird place to have a. Uh... Should I just be taking stuff? I feel really weird just hoovering up things. Um. Do you really want to get into this now? But I want to reach 100. I want to reach 100. I want to reach 100%. Tongue twisters that aren't actually tongue twisters. Wee, I can jump. Recycle, recycle, recycle. Mine. Yeah. The ladder? I feel like I should have climbed this thing. There we go. Yes, yes, whatever you say. I can't get a read on you. Engine diagnostics and maintenance, is that who you are? I am not going to talk to you because, quite frankly, I have had enough talking in this episode. Who are you? Oh, you're a mute. And also, oh wow, I phased through you. That was weird. Don't really feel comfortable doing that, I gotta say. Oh, my utility is full. How will I function in life with a full utility? Oh, this is like the Jeffrey's tubes. Interesting. I, I think I'm crouched right now. I'm walking awfully slowly. I'm like Batman. Batman. Can't go through there. Oh. The lights went out. Did I turn the lights out? I'm walking backwards because I can't see forwards. I'm just gonna keep walking backwards into the void. It's a little. Hey! Open the door! <sighs> spooky. Two spooky five me. Three spooky five me, I guess is how that joke's supposed to go. That timely, current, original joke. Into the. What? Are you like a pilot? Uh, I don't like your eyes. Eh, your eyes are okay. We've got okay. They are the pilots. I'm gonna assume they're the pilots. Metrics for people. Hey, pilot this ship. Focus on piloting this ship. Ow, disruption. Ow, that disruption it hurts me. Hurts me so badly. What's my goal? How do I check my objectives? Career recognition information. Primary objective. Obtain your CMC in mission operations and or complete the consortium bishop training scenario. So, I remember seeing the scenario room. Whoa, it's too circular, man. Okay. But I know how to get back there from here. I just need to take the elevator up to the second floor. Open up. Crap. Crap. Why can't I just take a simple elevator? This is the story of my life. What? Oh. Uh -huh. I'm losing my mind. Losing my pathetic excuse for a mind. How do I... Okay, let's go down here. This should work. I believe this is the bridge I saw earlier. Yeah, I don't care about that. Oh, hey there. How are you doing? Pawn 19, Carla Croft. Whatever, we'll do the training. Training. I think I'm going to tack this onto this first episode because this first episode so far has just been talking and I want to add this on. 
Um, I haven't decided yet if I want these to be 20 minute or 30 minute episodes. I was leaning towards 20, but this will shift the balance towards Welcome 30. Welcome to the introductory consortium bishop training scenario. I'm Rook 25, and I'll be your guide for today. I feel safer already. Boing, boing, boing. I can do the jumping. Yay. Can store matter in energy form and has built in healing and repairing functions. Cool. It is also capable of transforming small, solid matter objects directly into utility energy. That's a lot of energy. Floating pieces of junk around the platform. Use your PCU to convert them directly into utility energy. Give me more power. More power. I'm the garbage man. I don't afraid of no garbage. Now what do I do? That mean looking robot is about to shoot No! Poof. How poof. Like it hurt. Use utility energy to power your medical nanites. Either select the numbered slot in your HUD to auto heal your injuries oh, over time. Six. Or select in the battle utility suit and assault helmet represent your basic combat protection gear. Okay. I think I'm good. I think I'm healed. Did it. I'm at full. Let's heal the suit. It's all full. Tab. Open inventory. What is this? The personal containment unit. It looks good to me. I've looked at all the stuff. What next? To ah. Ah, gear. Walk up to the virtual soldier. Primary objective. Oh no. No. Either select the numbered slot in your heart to auto repair your armor. I repaired it. Did it. I'm so good. Individual armor pieces to repair. Platform. Repairing uses less utility energy than healing. Civilians protect the civilians. Is your best non-lethal combat solution. Okay. But I'd like a lethal option, please. Where do I get my... How do I... Ow. Where's my gub? I need a gub. Somewhere around here. Where the frack? Oh, is it in my inventory? No. Gosh dang it, you didn't give me the gub. I don't know where it is. I looked around real careful like up at the top. Oh, there it is. Give me that. I gotta figure out it. Oh, I gotta drop through up there. Gosh dang it, you couldn't just hand it to me like a normal game? I love the consortium. Okay, gun, I got you. Primary, non-lethal sonic pulse. Using its primary firing mode, the Seer projects a multi-target sonic pulse that can knock down nearly any unshielded enemy. Can I take out these fools? Now incapacitate these virtual bad guys before they hurt the hostages. Okay, we'll do the virtual bad guys. your enemies down get up close and stick them with nanites to incapacitate Take them that. indefinitely notice that you can inject multiple targets simultaneously that's pretty cool and the bush noise where's my energy meeting kinetic assault rifle or car is your alternate combat weapon choice. It's lethal. And unlike the seer, it does not need utility energy to function and instead requires physical ammunition. Excellent. Go grab one now. Uh, give me that. Nice work. Kinetic assault rifle, or car, comes equipped with lethal rounds capable of tearing bad guy shields to shreds. Cool. It is also equipped with consortium issue non-lethal shock grenades. I can fire just about any type of grenade on the market. Now, I'm pretty happy with that. To either kill or incapacitate the virtual bad guy. Eat it, bad guy. You're done. Good luck out there. I don't even need to reload. Stand in the middle to spawn more bots. Or, uh... How do I, uh...
Eat it, dirt bag. Uh, you flanked me. How unnaturally um cunning. What? No. Civilian killed. This is a disaster. Those poor civilians. They love the consortium so much. I couldn't protect them. And by couldn't, I mean I, I, mean, I could, but it's hard. It had work. That did not fly very far at all. What? No ammo. I'll just stun him, I guess. I don't know how to... Don't know how to reload. More civilians killed. Story of my life. Gosh dang it, you shieldy crapheads. Wait, I'm trying to hit a incapacitate button. Gosh dang it, Leroy. Snan at all of you guys. I guess. Oh, now you want to reload. Stupid. Worthless. My score was terrible. Let's, uh, let's heal a little bit. There we go. Worth it shorting my energy. I can see those meters going full. I guess the meter's just... in the middle? Who am I missing? So let's see. If I drain this... How do I reload now? Do I just have to suck in more energy? Utility full. Hmm. R doesn't do it. Do I have to switch to a different weapon? No. I think I'm just out. Oh, I think I'm just out of that ammo. Weird. Okay, so I'm done with the scenario, right guys? I mean, I won. I saved none of the civilians. Come on, how do I get out of here? Tab, open inventory. What is this? Reorganize. 90% stuff. Oh, it's one civ negative one civilians left. What do you want me to do? Why are you, you keep telling me to hit tab? I'm reorganizing. I mean, <laughs> oh, there's an exit wall. Thank you for making that my primary objective. Where is the exit wall? There it is. Cool. Whoa. Back to the not Normandy ship, the Kiri Kili Kilin Kalin. Yeah. Okay, so I think this is a good place to cut the episode. I prob um Yeah, we did a little bit of combat, we had a little bit of story. Uh next time you see me we'll be doing Obtaining your CMC from Night 15 in Mission Operations. Wow, that sounds like a grand old time, doesn't it? So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.